Welcome back, everybody. Drone 608 plays. Uh, playing Baldur's Gate 3 here. I am very near the tea house. I think that's it right here. I'm not really sure I want to go in there and take on the hag. Uh, strikes me as a very bad idea. I don't have a lot of spells. I could get... Uh, two first levels back for Gale. I could do a short rest. Um, I'm wondering... Can't give up now. Speak with animals. There's no animals around here to talk to. Uh, I definitely have to do at least a short rest. Right? <sighs> to get back the hit points for Lizelle. I don't know if I have enough spells to be able to do anything. I haven't used any of my spells, but I don't have the greatest spells in the world. Um, Target and then explode. Additional 1d10. Target is running creatures. Dex save. And it takes up a bonus action if I use it. No, it's a, it's an action. I really can't understand this at the bottom. It's got action, level 1 spell slot, bonus actions. It takes up everything I can do, I guess. To throw a hail of thorns. And I do get my ambush shot, which is... What is that? Under the ranger? No. What is that thing under? It's under some kind of attack thing that I can do. It's concentration's a problem. Okay, I think I need to do a short rest for sure. Oh, so let's do one of my short rests. So it gets us back to all of our f full hit points. And Gale, I think we're going to have you just pick up your first level spells again. Get both of them back. So you've got all your first level spells, two second level spells. So it's almost full spells for you. Uh, she has one first level and two second level spells. Attack roll. I really want her to do a bless on us. <sighs> or a silence. Last for a hundred turns. Uh, let's let's see what this really does here. Create a sound for sphere all in their silence and immune to thunder damage. Uh, but it doesn't tell me what it does.
It's one hundred just doesn't tell me what the uh it says create a soundproof sphere, but it doesn't tell me how big the sphere is. Hmm. I don't like that. Okay, uh I suppose I could do a find familiar. Let's move. That would give me another animal. Um, if I was going to cast this, what do I want? Cat distracts. Clipping pinch to slow people. Toxin. Infectious bite. A raven, blind enemy with its beak, and a spider can has a poisonous bite. I like that the cat can distract, but I think maybe the spider. All right, we're gonna try this. Um, give me a spider. He's got six hit points. He's got seven. Um, fork, let's put you, make you self invisible again. Um, she's one point off a of full. She can do guidance. That's right, I gave her the necklace that lets her do guidance, didn't I? Okay. Um, oh, this is probably a very bad idea. <laughs> well, we're going to try it. Just go ahead and cast guidance on me. Select on me. Let's move ahead and see way. if we find any traps. I'm not finding anything out here. A wheelbarrow, but that's about it. Can't throw it. Okay, so that's all. That is. There's a pile of bones Something here. Something good here. I hope. A dagger. Uh, I don't see anything. This is the tea house over here. Is this like the back door to the tea house or is this the front door? Shabby wooden doors. Okay, I think we're gonna be in a whole lot of trouble. We'll go see what we can do here. So, I really want you to do that. Still alive. So that's progress. All right, time to go die, I guess. Let's go through the shabby wooden door, shall we? There's Auntie Ethel. I don't want a crumb left on that plate, girl. Auntie Ethel, please. One more bite, and this pie is gonna come back up to say hello. Don't make me get the wooden spoon. You're eating for two, so get to it. If it isn't the cheekiest pop of them all, you best have one hells of an apology for me, young man.
You know, no apology for me, Hag, or you must have mistaken me for someone else. Or attack her. Just the hell with it and go after her. Um. Jeez, I don't know. Mistaken me for someone else? Let's try that. I don't think I did, dearie. And frankly, you're thick for saying so. You know, I was going to give you a swift kick up the arse and show you the door. But I think you and I could have a bit of fun together. Gods, grant me patience. Eat up, Marina. I won't say it again. You treat all your guests so poorly. Keep your own little nose in your own little dish, Petal. I don't like busybodies. Besides, you have bigger problems. That wriggler swimming in your brain juice is a bit of an inconvenience, isn't it? Don't change the subject. Why is that woman I really here? You, that girl is none of your business. Keep that hole under your nose shut. I'm inclined to agree. Let's not involve ourselves in this place any more than necessary. I'll talk about your wriggler, and that's it. Last warning. Quicker than you can say yes, auntie. What do you say? Want me to take care of the little bugger? Depends on the price. Well, that depends on the job. A removing a parasite is no small feat. But I like you, Petal. So I'll only ask for something small. One of your pretty little peepers. I pluck it from your head, kiss it for luck, then back in it goes. Won't take but a moment. That is my price. Nothing more, nothing less. Why? I'm afraid that's my business, Petal. It's nothing nefarious, though. I promise. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It's a poor bargain. I'll try my luck elsewhere. Ethel, can I please? Quiet. You've had enough pampering. And you. My door is always open, Petal. Aunt Ethel is here for you. Save Marianas. Okay, new quest. Uh. Oh, so where is the... Save Mariana. Okay, so I have to rescue her. Okay. And she's gone. Plenty Ethel. One day I'll catch a break. Let's 
see if we can find where Mariana went. she went. She whisked her off to somewhere. I don't see any places for her. Oh, this is bad. I can't even see her. So we don't know where she put Mariana. Whatever her name is. Arcane Barrier. An Arcane Barrier? Oh, I'll lay odds I can't get through that. Can I even get over there? Somehow? Okay, so I can go over here. Can't reach there. So I need to go here. Don't give me trouble now. You were seen picking a lock. Now this guard's picking a fight. Oh, screw it. Let's attack. Let's die, shall we? Where is she? There she is. How much is she? 112 hit points. Oh my lord. And I only have a 65% chance of hitting her. Alright, well, you gotta use your Dread Ambusher to get started. And then the only other thing I can do is this, I think. I shoot an arrow of fire at her? I should probably see what she is, how bad she is. She's gonna do me in. No specific resistances. Fair life. Death saving throws. Dark vision. Plus five to initiatives. Can't be surprised. She's got an 18 strength, 18 charisma. She's going to cast spells, right? We have to assume she's going to cast spells on us. And she's going to go before everybody else but me. This is bad. Where's my... He's right there. What's her stats again? She's got a wisdom of 14. I wonder if I could get off a scare on her. She's armor class 17, so it's going to be hard to hit her. Uh, it's a wisdom saving throw, so... I'll try it. She's saved. Oh, 
Oh, it's only an eight. She rolled a 19. Oh, and she's proficient against it. Okay, so that was a bad thing to do. So, only thing left is for me to do it. She's going to beat up Shadowheart. Um, She's got the wrong weapons out. Dang it. All right, so what can I do? Well, so much for peace. I could throw arrow fire. Thunder doesn't do much damage, but would push her away. Seventeen feet gonna be enough. Or we could go with an arrow of ice. Oh man, I really don't know what to do. Dexterity. Her dexterity is a 14. She's going to get plus 2. So her saving throw is going to be pretty good on that. back a little bit. Where's my spider in the... Oh, he's way behind. He's definitely at the end of the line. This is not good. Okay, Auntie Ethel, beat me up. She went invisible. Okay. She went invisible. We don't have anything that does see invisible, do we? I've got nothing that can see her. I don't have anything that can see invisible. I don't have anything that can do see invisibles. Well, put yourself invisible, Fork. I think she went out this way. Can't reach destination. Why? So she must be standing, like, right here. That's got to be her. Okay. Oh. Can't give up. Not now. I don't have anything. Person. Sacred Flame, Resistance, Command, I can't see her, right? So it's not like I can do anything. Because I can't see her. And I've got nothing that I can throw out there. Uh, what have I got in items? Hmm, she 
doesn't have anything really to work with here. Oh, I guess Shadowheart, the only thing I can have you do is bless us. I think that's what I'll have to do. So Shadowheart's going to do a bless. I'm going to have you do a second level one. So that you can get all the main characters. switch weapons and bonus actions I don't think you have anything you can really do I think I'm going to do peerless focus so that she gets advantage on concentration saves because I think she's going to need it. Yeah, you don't have anything that can... can do anything. You can't actually attack her. Can you? Because we don't know where she is. But I'm pretty sure she went out the door. Oh, she can walk right through this? Okay, she's not here. She got further away, she dashed. Oh, we're screwed. I have no way of knowing where she is. Do I have anything that's like a sea invisible? anything that will show up invisible okay so this is very bad for me because I've got nothing I have no way of being able to see where she is So she's going to get a surprise attack in, isn't she? Um, guess I put a blur on myself. And I'm going to move up here. Step by step. And switch to my stick. I just don't know where to go. And Spider, you're going to come out here to try and figure out if it will. Alright, so she's just going to stay invis invisible. I don't have anything. This is bad. Through the Colossus. 
Heal giant strength. Drow poison. Glorious vaulting. Level of accuracy. Potions of healing. Yeah, I don't have. I don't have anything that's going to help me see invisible. So she's going to be able to do whatever she wants. Um, I'm going to use that scroll on myself. Non fitted you. I guess I'll move to here. Have to keep going. All right, where are you, Auntie Ethel? Okay, so you're saved. Sleeping? No. Well, I get advantage. I could do a few points of damage to her. Nope, I missed, I guess. I missed. Oh, wow. Well. Needed to roll a 12, huh? She like wake her up. What is this? Help. Prone and sleeping. So she's gonna do this. Gets her standing up. Now all she has left. Can she actually cast a spell? No, that was an action, wasn't it? That was an action. She could cast a healing spell, but she doesn't really have anything. I mean, she's got a bonus action, but not a lot she can do here. Um, okay. Um, she can't really do anything. Get out of the way, I guess. Now can she? She can't do her attacks? That does 8 to 28. Only a 60% chance, but she's got a swing. Okay. Then she's gonna do a pummel strike. Try and get another two points, and you dazed her. Then you're gonna take your action surge. 
so that you can do this again. Well, we got her down to 48. I do want to move away a little bit. Because she's going to go invisible again. Actually, do we want to? We want to stay right here, I think. All right, dude, um, she's got 48 hit points. You need to do some serious damage. <laughs> what are you gonna do, Gail? What can you do that's gonna help us? Well, that's concentration, so you need to cast something that's not concentration. It's gotta be within 60 feet, so you gotta move. How far away is she? She's not. She's still actually within 60 feet. Um, what are your spells? So magic missile should hit. This would do some damage to cell. It's a constitution save. What is her constitution? 16. So you want it to be a dex save at best, or no save at all. I do four to 16 this time, and then whatever she does next time, it does four to 16 again. And she's got 48 left. This would do six to 15. Well, I hate to use it up, but I think I've got to. All right, now let's place this just right so that it doesn't get LaSalle. Um. Let's place it right there. Did some damage to her. 36 to 13. That's about all you can do, Gail. Now it's back to me. Can I hit her? 85% chance right now. And I need to do a whole lot of damage that I can't do. Try and hit her with a lightning. Well, acid would hold over into her turn, right? 85% chance. She's got 18. It's not enough. Because I don't have any bonus actions that can do anything. Oh, I should have dipped myself in poison. Do I have anything? No, I don't have like anything I can do that's protective. I need to get away from her where I can't be slapped. Uh, can't let her sleep both me and Gale. I'm actually going to run over here. She's frightened. She can't do anything. Why is she not doing anything? 
Come on, Auntie Ethel, you gotta do something. She didn't do anything. Okay. Can I come up and bite her again? Why not? Let's bite her again. Oh, a critical hit. I got her for eight points. She's only got three left. I'm gonna run away. Let's get my turn. Dear heart, can you come up here? You can't hit him. But you're gonna go help the spider. And then you're gonna back away. Time to strike. The sale? Do it again. 70% chance. 150 experience points. Yay! Uh, we updated something. And I've got a beeper going off. I turn off my beeper. It's my time. 41 minutes, so we'll look in here. Andy Atham is finally dead. We should see if Mariana is all right. Okay. Okay. Um. Lazelle. Lazelle wants to talk to me. Will I get hit by the daggers? What's hiding here? Tarnished charm. Poisonous slime bomb. Flammable slime bomb. Mixer of hill giant strength. A glaive. And Corellian's grace. Okay, I guess I take all that. Um, Lizelle wanted to talk to me. I have a confession. I was too hasty to judge you. I thought you witless, gutless, unimpressively bland. <laughs> I thought you were cruel, stubborn, and juggernaut. And I thought you cruel, stubborn, and judgmental. Yes. All that is true. I am cold as the sea of night. But you have stoked fires I didn't know I possessed. I swear, you would tear the horns off one dragon for plunging into another. You've gained my respect. And more still, <laughs> my yearning. When I come near... Your odor alone oh, is geez. my neck sweat <laughs> and my hair stand on end. Go play with Asteria and leave me alone. I have just one word for you. Yuck. You respect me so much. Why are you such a prickly grouch? If you must know, Vlekith requires everything of her children. I can't count how many bruises I've inflicted. Can't measure how much blood I've drawn in the Undying Queen's name. Jeez. I know only blood red and death black. My mind is silver and my body steel. I am what I must be. Say what I must be. To survive every beast I face and every wound I bear. Ah, enough talk. I will be plain. I want to taste you. Perhaps tonight. Perhaps later. But I want it all the same. Leave Do me. you? No. Uh, no, I don't need any more. Else I, fear. I don't need any more girlfriends. Soon, you will wonder how my lips might have tasted. How my fingers on your skin might have felt. No. And you will wish you could return to this lost moment. No, I'm trying to keep out of all these romantic entanglements. I'll do another playthrough where I try and romance everybody under the sun and be a, a ruddy goat or whatever. Rutten goat, but uh, no, not here. Uh, toad teapot, huh? 
I have no idea. Potion of greater healing is good. Grilled Rothy ribs. That's food. Letter from MP. Let's read. Oh, I should stop. I need to stop. I need to stop. I need to stop. I'm at 45 minutes. Yeah, we're going on 46. So if you like what you see, hit the thumbs up button. If you really like to see, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the notify bell. Be notified, upload videos under scheduled streams. Um, I thought there was something here that could raise up one of my stats, but I guess she has to be alive to, for me to get it. I don't know. Anyway, I'm Drone 608. Until we meet again, stay safe and bye-bye.